monster. Hey guys, Congress of 2 and welcome to Medium Tanks for Dummies. We're finally, finally doing this. A very requested, probably my most requested video. I've had them in, in my Discord, in the WNF Discord, and in the Community Discord. Everybody seems to want me to make this, and I've seen it in the comments as well. How to Medium Tank. So, we're going to finally do How to Medium Tank, but it's not going to be Soviet Mediums. It's not going to be autoloaders. Those are for a separate video. These are going to be the 105 NATO guns. Why? Because they're kind of like the Joe Average tanks in the game. Some of them have armor, some of them don't, some of them have accuracy, some of them have gun handling. They're kind of like this, these all-arounders. And we're going to be featuring for you guys the M48 Pan and the Centurion Action X. The reason it's taking so long is because I didn't have either of those tanks. Those are the tanks I wanted to feature. And I didn't have the Patton or the Action X. Uh, I, finally, I finally saved up and got myself an Action X. And got a dinghy here. He sent me a Patton. And I've got a dinghy. He is a YouTuber and a Twitch streamer as well. He's very small, very new. Um... So I'm going to be putting his his uh, credentials into on the screen and in the description below. Mostly in the description below, like the actual links are going to be in the description. But we're going to be watching him, watching him and his patent, seeing how he plays, and I'm going to be telling you how I think how I think he should have played or how I think he is playing. And the first thing you want to do in your medium tanks, in my own opinion, if you don't have a light tank, is scout. Now he does have a light tank, and that's what he's letting them do. He's letting him go and scout. But he's chosen to come up here, which means he's going to be brawling. Now, if you're in a medium tank and you're going to be brawling, what I really, really recommend is finding a heavy tank and forming this symbiotic relationship with that heavy tank and just being like, okay, heavy tank, you take the hits and I'm going to support you. Every time somebody shoots at you or whatever, um, I'm going to come out and pop a couple shots. And if you've saved enough hit points, then you can start taking hits from, for your heavy tank if you really need to. And that way you kind of keep your, your health alive, you keep your heavy tank. It, the heavy tank seems to do more damage. It seems like that because while well, you're doing damage for him, and so, yeah, that's what he's going to do here. He's going to form a symbiotic relationship, hopefully, with a heavy tank. And that's definitely something I would do. Now, he has found himself this T-10. Perfect choice. Well, not really. I'd re prefer a more heavily armored tank, but he's actually cho choosing to take hits. So he's going to use that to his advantage. You're going to take the hits, T-10. All right, that's fine. I'm going to put some shots in for you. Now, there's a medium tank who's gone down into that dip to fight all these enemy tanks all at once. And that's a terrible idea. There he is. And, um, well... You can use that to your advantage in your medium tanks as well. They're all turning for him, and now look what he gets to do. He gets to get nice free shots. Use, just use everything to your advantage. And once again, T10 is also taking hits for him. And that's exactly what he's going to be doing. Now, him and his own team have pretty much cleaned up that bull, but there's still a VKB. And he thought about going around the corner here, but he hesitates. He lets his T10 go around and take the hit from the VKB. Once again, letting his heavy tanks take the hits, just like in competitive mode. Why he take IS-7s and E-100s? So that your bat chats can kill everything. That's literally the only reason. And he does. He lets him take the hits. But unfortunately, the VKB changes his mind and does shoot him. It doesn't work all the time, but normally it does. Now his team does win that flank, and so now he gets to do what is known as the cleanup phase. And if you've preserved your hit points, you're allowed to take hits, which he does do so here. In fact, he got caught out by this waffle, but because he preserved his hit points, he actually did survive it, and he got into cover. And that was only because of the way he had played earlier. He kind of showed us exactly how to brawl, and I like that. I don't usually brawl with my mediums, and so the fact that he sent us this replay, I really, really did enjoy, because I was able to show that to you guys. And uh, I think that was a good thing. And now he's in the cleanup phase, guys. In the cleanup phase, you're allowed to just drive around. You have the health, or you've saved enough health, so you can just drive around and clean everything up because you've won your flank. And would his team have won this flank without him? No. All he had left on his flank was a T10, and they were fighting all Waffenträger E100, so I don't think so. So now this is the best part. Look at the back of these tanks. We're not going to show all this, but this is just a feast. He just gets to shoot the back of all these tanks. We're going to show one more because the track is not that satisfying. We're going to show him shoot him one more time, all right? Just for you guys because I know you guys want to see some damage. There it is. Let's get to the Action X now. I'm going to show you the very beginning of this game. I am in my Action X and I am on Sand River Encounter, so I wanted to go southwest. However, you notice they have three Tier 10 mediums, and I am the only Tier 10 medium on my team. Look, you can see I'm pointing to it. That's where I wanted to go, right there. But... I notice I will be outmatched, so I'm going to be doing what Dingy did, which is go and fight with the heavies. Find a symbiotic relationship between myself and a heavy. In this case, it's the C50 here. Actually, uh, he and I become best friends this game, um, and we're going to brawl it out. Something I like doing, though, however, is getting there first, because if you get there first, you get free shots, which is what we do to this pattern. 
I like getting there before the heavies or the other he heavy enemies heavies, and that's what I would have done on Westfield as well. In fact, we get to put two shots into him here because we got here first, and that's something I would have done if I was on Westfield. I probably would have poked over and taken a shot or two. However, that could have left to me dying. And Dingy played it a lot more sensibly, and he did not take any hits. But we get away with it as well. So I have now formed this relationship with this WZ. Every time he pokes out, I poke out. But I always let him poke out first, so he takes the hits, because that's what he has chosen to do. And so I'm going to be using him as that kind of that heavy tank that takes the hits. Even though he is kind of in a tank that doesn't really need to take the hits, but that's what he's doing. Sometimes someone needs to make a push. See that patent up there? It's on my right in that E4. He's been sitting there for quite a while this game, and nobody wants to dig him out. So I'm going to just take the hit from the E4. That's what I'm going to do. I want to win this game. However, I do get supported by the FV. He sees what I'm doing. He joins me. And we're now we're going to go in after this patent. However, we do bounce off of him. But now I have found a new relationship with a new tank, and that would be this E50. Something else you should do, if you're not too sure, go for the tracks. Tracks and mobilize tanks and give you the opportunity to engage from different angles. And uh, once again, the E50 comes around, and he is, once again, symbiotic relationship right here. He's going to come in, he realizes I'm taking hits, and he's going he's gonna to distract this T10 so that I go one-on-one -on -one against this T54. The T10 was going to come over and try to shoot me, but this E50 showed up, and now he's helping me. And once again, we're going to go for his tracks. He sees I'm getting rushed, and he puts a shell into him for me. And because of this E50, we don't take any unnecessary damage, and we finish him off. And now we get to help him with his T10 problem. Now, I thought about going and rushing this T-54E1, but I realized, nah, he's just going to clip me down. So I wait for my E-50, and I figure he kind of realizes what's going on. He pulls in front, and he lets me get to his side. Now, while I was playing this, I was trying to three-mark a couple tanks, so I was a little bit frustrated, and I didn't recognize what he's doing until now. But yeah, he was taking the hits for me, and we were able to just come in and assist him. Now that he's taking the hits, it's our job to assist him. And once again, now we've got this uh, KV-4, and he's going to do the same exact thing. KV-4 is looking at me, and I'm like, hmm, do I take the hit for the E-50? E-50 is like, nope, I'm taking the hit for you. And once again, he takes the hit for me, and we're able to push shots in. What a, what a trooper right there. That E-50M is definitely MVP of this game right here. He took the hits knowing that we would support him. Unfortunately, the rest of the tanks are on the other side of the map, and we are unable to clean up. However, we did preserve enough of our hit points to take a hit if need be, and we would have been able to preserve our hit points. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our Action X. Isn't it beautiful? It looks a lot like the fe 215 b but it is actually not. It is, it is a medium tank. There we go. Now it's working. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm glad we got this map because this is a very city map, but I want to work the medium flank. Now, you didn't see me work any medium flanks last time. Um, we kind of went both times to the heavy area, but this time I'm going to go out here. I'm going to go to the medium flank. I'm going to work it. The medium flank, in my opinion, you're allowed to run away from if you're a medium tank. You're allowed to run. Go help the heavies if you need to, if you think you're going to get overrun. But if you lose the heavy flank, in my opinion, you always you always lose the game because um, cause you got to push through with one side. So if you're going to die on the medium flank, in my opinion, just run away. Go help your heavies. Go help your heavies. One thing I didn't mention is all these 105 medium tanks, they all have at least 8 degrees of gun depression. Um, ridge lines are your friends. Trust me. Find a ridge line and go use it. So we've got T-92s. We're, ex uh, we're reviewing the enemy team. Seeing what they've got. Trying to figure out what we should do. And yes, I've decided that it's just one TVP. So we are going to have some fun. See if we can work this. And once again... I want to get to the position first and get an early shot or two off. <sighs> Unfortunately, it goes into the ridge line and we missed our shot. That is okay, though. We might be able to get it here. Nope. There's our other medium tank. It's the tier 9. There we go. Put a shell in there. There we go. He misses. All right. That was an AP shell from artillery. Nothing we want to really be involved with right there. Is that the back of him or the front? That is the front of him. From up here, the medium flank, you always have good flanking shots on enemies. And so that's what we're going to do here. We're able to put shots in the heavies. We're assisting the heavies from the medium flank. Because, because from here, we, we have control over the map and we can shoot in there. And so that's what we're trying to do now. Is that Once again, even though we're not with the heavies, we're still assisting the heavies. That is our job. But now i got to focus uh, once again to my flank because they're starting to move up. We've got this Waffenträger here, and he barely gets away. Now, there is a there is artillery, and they're shooting AP, so I do not want to stand still because if they hit me, I'm done for. 
That's definitely something I don't want. Now, this is that time where, remember when I said you're allowed to run away? I'm running away now. <laughs> this is me running. There is nothing I can do here anymore. So I'm getting the heck out of here. This guy's pointing at me almost as if he wants me to stay, but I'm not going to stay. I'm going to go join the E4 over here, actually. I don't think I need to completely leave. Oh. But I do need to get some room. Get some room, definitely. Hmm. There we go. Baited his shot. I'm going to go for the waffle. We know we can pen him. So we're just we're just biding our time. Can we pen that? I think so. Right there. Boom! There's a penetration. T49 is coming. He's going to try to dirt me in the rear, I think. So I'm going to change over now. And I'm going to make sure no one's coming up behind me. And maybe put a free shot into this guy. Unable to, unfortunately. But we're just going to keep trying to win this flank. We just got to win this flank. Keep their mediums from fighting our heavies. Once again, this is how you win. Heavies, you got to keep your heavies going. And that's what we're going to do here. Is we're going to try to keep our heavies going. Now, uh, I don't know what we can do to that guy exactly. But, he did just fire. Which means we have time to move in. C49. And TVP. We gotta get out of here now. Oh, dang it. I thought he tracked me. I saw the thing and I'm like, oh, he tracked me. Crap. He did not actually track me. But uh, we want to stay away from him. We do. T49. One. Don't want to get hit by the Ag Tiger. There we go, he's done. He's reloading. And that was a bad shot by me. Heavy tanks, we need our heavy tanks to get out here and do something for me. But they don't seem to want to. We gotta get the TVP before he reloads. But he's gonna be reloaded any moment now. There we go, we get him out of the game. And now we come over here. T49 gets hit. Oh, he pens us and he finishes off. We're going to do another live game, though, for you guys. And we're going to see if we can get a, a more medium-friendly map. But you saw what we did there. We went up to this position here. We're going to talk about it real quick, what we did. We went up to this position. We spotted early. We tried to get some early shots on people crossing. We unfortunately missed our shells. But then uh, we just hunkered in put some shots into these medium tanks and light tanks. Then we noticed we had shots on people in the town, so we assisted our heavies, shot into the town, focused back on our flank, put a couple shots into the TDs, I think. Then we realized I was the last one alive, so we fell back a little to this E4 so that I could support the E4, the E4 could support me. I stayed around this location because I thought our heavies were going to push up here, but they did not, unfortunately. Um, except this guy, this guy tried. And so we put some more shells into these tanks right here. And we just we just held on as long as we could. We just wanted to make sure we did not lose this location. Because as soon as we lose these this location, the medium tanks and light tanks move in, start shooting our heavies from the rear. And that's what we did there. We didn't do a huge amount of damage, but I would say uh, that was enough to help our heavy tanks win the game. And so that's what we did there. Let's go and play another live game. So we did win this game, it looks like. Here's the post-game results. Nothing flashy. 5,000 damage. Not bad, not bad. But uh, let's get into the next game. What do you guys say? I, I agree. Let's do this. Okay, we, they give us Pilsen Encounter. This is good. This is good. I like this. I hate this map, which is why I think this is good. You get to see what I do on a map I really don't like and don't think should be in the game, but it is. So what we're going to do now is, once again, there's a ridge here, and we're going to try to use it, but I need to get into a position where I can support my heavies without really engaging the enemy. Like, on Sand River, I was able to just fight with my heavy tanks because it was a big open map, but not this one. One more thing I want to say about Runeberg last game. I don't think there's any place for a medium tank in the town unless it's like a... A 430 or a 430 version 2 or an E50. My opinion, if you're the medium tank, you need to go out in the field. You need to. You cannot let your heavy tanks get flanked. And that's what we did. That was our job. That's why I didn't run completely away. Because I really didn't want them to get caught out. So, once again, we find ourselves spotting aggressively. So we can get that first initial shot off. Unfortunately for us, though, we do miss. And that guy crashed into a, a wall. And causing us to, well, miss again. I think we had him led pretty nicely. But we have two misses now, and no damage to show for it. Sorry, E4. However, this guy's not that smart. Unfortunately, our shell flies right. But yeah, once again, I'm, I like I like getting into these positions where you can just whip some shots off real fast. 
get early early shots. From here, we have cover here from that artillery. We know where the RD is. And I don't think he can shoot us from here. Maybe he can. But yeah, we're just using gun depression here. He's gun depression in view range. Gun depression right here. This is a ridge. Oh, somebody's going to shoot at us. We just go back like this. It's simple. It's real simple. Boom. Into his tracks. Don't quite take them off. Sheridan right there. And now we can, uh, let's have some fun with a Sheridan, eh? Track? Boom! Not tracked. But we damage his tracks. I could have and probably should have saved my shot for that T-30, but I think we can still get it. Maybe... Maybe not. Okay. I, I wanted to. I wanted to. That's really your job. You just keep poking tanks. Keep poking tanks. You've got the smaller gun, guys. If somebody has low health, finish them off. Your job is not really to cause that big one-shot damage. Like, if this E4 has a choice between shooting that Sheridan and that T-30... He should shoot. He shouldn't have to shoot that T30, who was a one hit. That should be my job. Cover you. You got it. Affirmative. Now he should not be doing this, but he is. I'm gonna go with him once again. Like I said earlier, find your heavy tank buddy and stay with him. That's our job. Anyway, <laughs> Sheridan side armor OP. We unfortunately bounce off, but there's an E4 right there. All right, we're gonna move up now. Now that our light tanks are moving up, I'm finding somebody and I'm gonna be there. I'm going with them. I'm going with them. That's what you got to do in these tanks. Just go with them. And now we're going to try to finish off this T-30. Boom. Got him. He's out. Pull back a little bit. Reassess. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to try to make our way to this cover. There we go. He missed his shot. Gives us a free opportunity to shoot him. Boom. And right in the rear, and he's on fire. Does he ping a, bring a fire extinguisher? No, he does not. He's like me. Okay, tank in front. And boom, we make it out. Boom. Using this as cover. But yeah, we noticed that was an HE pen from the T-54. Did you guys see that? I think I can pen that. I can. So I gotta turn my front to him because he's shooting HE. It's something we don't really want to get penned by very much or at all. There we go. We missed, but that's okay. Now our team is starting to lose this, so we definitely have to step it up a little bit. I I moved before I fired just because I don't want to get penned by that HE again. The action X is dead, however, it looks like, so he's not gonna spot us anymore. We'll go straight through his turret. He's got the stock turret, we're able to do that. Now our E4 is moving up. Once again, well, remember what I said earlier? Find your heavy tank and support them. We gotta get there now or he's gonna die. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Now the C4 is coming. Who's he gonna shoot? Who's he gonna shoot? Who's he gonna shoot? I'm gonna take the hit for him, but it looks like he just fired. So now we're gonna close the distance and track him. There it goes. There's the track. There's a track. Hopefully our E4 can finish him off now. Hopefully, hopefully. We don't know, though. Boom, put another shell into him. I know, dude, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, boy, the E4 is coming to finish him off. And we finish him off, and we save our E4. Your E4 is your friend. Oh, boy, E4. Oh, boy. That was that was fun. That was fun. But now, now that he's alive, he can help me with this patent. He's using his gun depression. We're going to fire some shots off. But now we have the ridge lines. We are actually better ridge line than him, just because... We have more gun depression. We don't have that giant cupola he has. Now, it looks like he really wants to fight us, but I still have an E4 friend. So I'm going to use and abuse my E4 friend. He's coming in. He's got a better rate of fire than us, but we have more health than him. We also have food, so I'm not really worried. And now we have the high ground. I don't know where our shell... Did we hit, even hit him there? We're just going to circle him. We don't need... We have more DPN than him because apparently he doesn't bring equipment or anything like that. So we're, this is just the cleanup phase. We have enough health to do this. And so, yeah, maybe we can bounce one of his shells, too. No, we cannot. We're going to... I didn't need to fix him, but I did, just so I can make sure I have enough rotation. And there, we finish him off. And he goes down right there. We stayed with our heavy tank, which is our E4. You keep him alive. He's your battle buddy. Think of it as like you're a Marine or in the Army or something like that. You have a battle buddy. You stay with him at all times, and that's what we did there. We stayed with our battle buddy, and we finished that game off. It was a good game there. And uh, the E4, we kept him alive. Where is the E4? He did finally go down, unfortunately, by I rate. Oh, he got killed by this guy. That's unfortunate there. But with him, we are able to do nearly 9,000 damage together. And we won our flank pretty much single-handedly. We have six kills together. And that's what you want to do when you're medium tanks, especially on those city maps. On those bigger open maps, you can, you have more free range to go around and do what you want. But on those city maps, you've got to find that tank. You've got to find your battle buddy. And that's what we did there.
Anyway, guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, please slap the like button, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to uh, send me any replays, link to my email is going to be on the screen now and the description below. If you want to join the Discord, the link to the Discord is also going to be in the description below. And if you want to donate to the Patreon, that's also going to be on the screen now and in the description below. Now the question is, can we take out this? Ah! Oh, oh my gosh, that startled me so much. Can we take this guy out? I, I can't quite get my gun down. So, okay. Well, if we pull back, I think we will. So I will see you guys all later. Take care. And peace. Out. One more thing for the video previous also, um, before I turn this one off as well, which I didn't mention for this video or the last one, but I did, but I forgot to end it with. Um, got a dinghy. Once again, I wanted to remind you guys at the end of the video. Um, got a dinghy. Oh, guys, this is tomorrow's video. Welcome. Got a dinghy. Um, this, this is the game we're going to have. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Got a dinghy. Uh, I wanted to remind you again. Link to his stuff in the description. Go check it out. And that's it. Goodbye, guys. Take care. Peace out. And let bud bugs bite you on the way. I shouldn't... That's not very nice.